dear friends this video is about sweet corn sweet corn is a specialty corn which is mostly popular in the european and western countries and day to day it is gaining much importance in the indian condition as freshly grown vegetable as well as boiled cob there are different types of corn we can uh, say the specialty corn about specialty corn i'll be covering in a separate video um just giving an introduction to specialty corn there are different types of corn like tent flint popcorn floor corn sweet corn and waxy corn tent corn is commonly called as field corn most widely grown type used for dry cereal food and industrial purpose flint it's a field corn smooth hard kernels with little soft starch grown in europe and south asia popcorn it's an extreme form of flint corn consumed fresh as popped one floor corn large kernels with a, st a soft starch native use sweet corn sweet corn it is a corn with low in starch high in sugar waxy corn is the kernel lacks amylose used for starch purpose the origin and domestication of sweet corn general corn originated in mexico so we can say the sweet corn also originated in mexico possibly derived from teosinte used as early as 5000 bc this is uh, sweet corn is a recent crop uh found in 8th century in guatemala this results from su1 mutation that is su1 gene mutation initially the modern varieties are derived in india this is a teosinte which is an ancestor of sweet corn importance one of the major grain for human nutrition one of the four most important crops the major cereal used for stock feed produced throughout the world the largest producers are usa china brazil russia mexico argentina and romania and recently india is coming up with good sweet corn production and marketing the importance production dominated by us where development of this crop begins before iron quest that is uh, more than 5 lakh a considerable production is in europe the importance is for its uh, sweetness high calories vitamin a minerals lipids and protein content coming to the botanical description of sweet corn it's an annual crop monoecious male flower a loose terminal panicle female flower and axillary rachis the pistillate silk is present this is a male flower called as uh, tassel this is female called silk as comparing to field corn the more robustness and uh, more number of pollen grains are expected in the sweet corn and the filling percentage is also high this is uh, the zinnia effect in sweet corn this is also found in uh, field corn also but in uh, sweet corn it is more here different pollen source and um, the different seed types are produced that is nothing but the zinnia effect zinnia is nothing but the pollen effect on the reproduced part the corn characterization and genetics of sweet corn this differs from field corn by one or more genes su gene that is sugary allele on chromosome 4 increases sugar percentage or phytoglycogen sc is sugary enhancer this is an allele on chromosome 4 enhances sugar level in comb with su means su is complementary with se sh2 is shrunken to the allele on chromosome 
blocks of starch synthesis that is 4 to 8 excess sugar means the content is increased by 4 to 8 times. This is the whole pathway. In this pathway the ATP plus alpha D glucose 1 phosphate is not converted to ADP glucose per, per plus pyrophosphate with the help of SH2 genes that means the sugar conversion or sugar breakdown is uh, doesn't take place that gives a sh sweet sugar formation in the sweet corn that is uh, majorly due to SH2 gene in corn and the final product is ADP plus glucose N plus 1. The secondary effect of SH2 gene the tough pericarp minimal starch reserves very shrunken mummified seeds slow and weak emergence following planting more susceptible to seedling diseases the endosperm is nutritious part of the kernel this originates from pollination event has genotype of pollinator and egg producer sweet corn must be isolated during production here the different characters of uh, SU, SE and SH2 genes. The SU1 is grain corn. The grain corn all are starchy type only. SU1 is starchy and all the three are starchy only. SU1 sweet corn is starchy. In SU1 it is sweet. In SE it segregate into 1 is to 2 is to 1 and SH2 is less starchy. That means for more conversion of sugars or uh, for accumulation of more sugar, starchy should be reduced where starchy is the major character of field corn. In SE, when SU1 and SE1 are together, the SU1 level of sweetness is increased. The SE1 itself is sweet and when it is with SH2, it gives starchy appearance. SH2 is a starchy one but when only SH2 is produced or present it gives sweet taste or it produce gives sweet corn production. That means the combination of genes also plays a major role in increasing or enhancing the sweetness in the corn. Coming to the climatic and soil requirements, warm season tender crop can withstand only light frost at emergence. It requires 55 degree for germination, tolerates most soil types, requires season long water availability. For seed production, it requires interplanting of inbred parents, topping female parent lines and isolation from other corn plants. Establishment of the field. The isolate classes of sweet corn are 600 feet from other types or isolate by pollination time that is uh, 300 heat units. Planting date scheduled using three methods are days of harvest, heat units and plant growth. Modern intensive production. It is mostly employed for processing corn some fresh exclusive use of hybrid varieties production entirely automated except for harvesting of fresh corn because the harvesting is uh, done uh, in the physiological maturity not after drying it is uh, a freshly consumed form of corn so it is harvested before it gets complete maturity the modern intensive production high inputs are required here like irrigation water fertilizers especially high use of new nitrogen in order to increase the grain size and uh, sugar um, accumulation it needs insecticide especially the european corn borer corn eelworm and wireworm because of its uh, fleshiness the disease and pest attack is also more as compared to the field corn garden market production that is nothing but production of corn for local fresh markets 
exclusive use of hybrid varieties in developed countries land races and open pollinated varieties are common in underdeveloped countries strong ethnic preference in local market is given for this organic production of sweet corn the easiness depends on the location requires intensive management of soil fertility because this is more nitrogen demanding Insect management requires constant scouting and use of approved insecticide products mostly for wire worms used to be avoided subsistence production that is practiced worldwide including modern countries production for grain and vegetable use exclusive use of landrace and open pollinated varieties production with little or no automation except possibly ground preparation subsistence production um, like beginning to employ gmo insect resistance commonly used in intercropping system provides support for vertical system habitat management strategies like trap crop intercrop refugees important for controlling insect parasitic styga weed water management is also a serious issue as you know maize cannot tolerate more than 700 mm of water or uh, if the water is stagnating above the root surface means due to anoxia and hypoxia condition the plants will die immediately within a week or uh, in this interval the head smut is another problem just like uh, in sorghum the harvesting of uh, sweet corn it require indices dried silk tight husk appearance kernels nearing full color form processing indices percent solids percent alcohol insoluble solids percent uh, pericarp test trimetric test like moisture pericarp and size production and harvesting date three methods are used to predict this physiological development published day to harvest and corn heat units for this we have to follow the package of practice book as well as uh, we can check the physiological development also handling and storage of sweet corn hydro cooled or room cooled at less than 50 degree celsius a uh, degrees Mm, we can say uh, nearly 0 degree uh, is good for storing this handled and shipped at 32 degrees that is 90 to 95 de- percent uh, relative humidity that means if per- uh, the temperature is high also relative humidity must be high in order to avoid the sugar conversion and drying the cobs rapid conversion of sugar to starch is a major problem so storage shipping and shelf life is only for 6 to 8 days this has to be taken care of this is the depletion of sucrose in sweet corn at different temperature at 0 degree celsius the depletion is quite low as comparing to 10 degree 20 and 30 the most highest conversion or highest uh, sugar conversion or depletion of the sugar is expected at or about 30 degrees celsius so as cool as possible we can maintain for the storage condition and this will give better storability for sweet cobs thank you i hope you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel thanks once again